So the um, vote is 10 in favor, four opposed, and one abstention. The motion carries. The long-awaited vote late this afternoon. The Johnson & Johnson one-shot vaccine will resume. Public health authorities recommending lifting the pause put in place on April 13th and restarting vaccinations for those 18 and up, but with a warning. FDA will add more details to the healthcare provider and patient fact sheet, including information about the risk that events have occurred in a very small number of people. Out of 8 million shots, there are now 15 known cases of rare blood clots in people who've gotten the J&J &J vaccine. But it is still unclear if the vaccine is directly responsible. The majority of those clots near the brain, all involving women between the ages of 18 and 59. Three have died, at least seven still hospitalized. The CDC says the benefits outweigh the risks. The vaccine will prevent thousands of deaths and hospitalizations. Even with a hold removed, many worry it'll be even more difficult to convince Americans with vaccine hesitancy to get that shot. But the head of the CDC says our safety systems worked. We at the CDC and FDA took the time needed to fully investigate this issue. Vaccine supply is expected to outpace demand, which may be one reason why the city made this announcement today. All city-run sites will be open for walk-ins as of today for all sites for all age levels. No more pesky websites to sign up for an appointment. No more hitting the refresh button. I was able to walk in today to be able to have the vaccine widely available is pretty awesome. She walked into the city's latest vaccination site, the Museum of Natural History, where even the famous blue whale has a Band-Aid symbolizing that shot in the arm. So when will we see the J&J &J vaccine available again? In that same briefing tonight with reporters, we were told that the doses will be administered at vaccination sites as soon as tomorrow. I'm Shirley Chan for PIX11 News.